Gora 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 Hari Jaya Sachinandana Gora Hari Jaya Sachinandana Gora Hari Hare Krishna Hare Krishna both on Facebook and YouTube. Krishna Krishna Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare Okay, okay. So Guru Maharaj is asking, does any devotee, any questions are there? Come, you are asking. No medical questions. <laughs> <laughs> Come here. Hare Krishna Guru Maharaj, please accept my respectful obeisances. So it is said that Vedeshu Durlabam Adurlabam Atma Bhaktao. So that means just by reading, one cannot please Krishna, one pleases Krishna by devotion. But then we also say that one should read books. Then we also say that one should read books. So uh, some people find it. Uh, why not we just chant Hare Krishna? Why to read? So some people they find it. Why not we just chant Hare Krishna? Why should we read? Om Tat Sat. Om Tat Sat. I met a devotee. He said, I'm reading. I don't need to chant. So I met a devotee. He said, I'm reading. I no need to chant. So people, they always make all kinds of excuses. So one said, I can chant. I don't need to read. So one can say, we can only chant. No need to read. I said, I read. I don't need to chant. So I'll read, but I no need to chant. We should read, we should chant. We should read, we should chant. Now, Prabhupada, he was giving his purports, which are a way to associate with Prabhupada. So, Prabhupada, he is giving us his purports, which are a way to associate, which is a way to associate with Srila Prabhupada. So, we, we, I had a lot of personal association. I had a lot of personal association with Srila Prabhupada. But even then, to read what Prabhupada wrote is also very important. Even then, to read what Srila Prabhupada wrote, it's also very important. Because he gave his own uh, purports to the Bhagavatam Slokas. Because he gave his own purports to the Bhagavatam Slokas. So purports included tikas and different purvacharyas. So the purports includes includes the tikas of the different purva acharyas and also Prabhupada's own realizations and also Srila Prabhupada's own realizations. That's important to read to have the association of Prabhupada. That's why it's important to read to have the association of Srila Prabhupada. And we should chant by chanting and purifies the heart. So we should chant. By chanting, it purifies the heart. By reading, as the heart is purified, the, the topics go into the heart. So by reading, when the heart is purified through chanting, then the topics, they go into the heart. <coughs> I 
Any other questions? Any other questions? Amrinder Prabhu. Uh, Guru Maharaj, we uh, understand that this is a mercy movement. Guru Maharaj, Guru Maharaj, we understand that this is a mercy movement. And uh, we also talk about that uh, uh, people are unqualified and they progress with the help of mercy. And we also speak about, talk about people are unqualified, but they progress with the help of mercy. At the same time, we uh, have certain standards for uh, initiation and there are other standards. At the same time, we have certain standards for initiation and other standards as well. And uh, so sometimes uh, devotees say, if the person is not able to meet standards, no problem, by the mercy of the spiritual master, he will come to the standards and, you know. Uh, sometimes devotees say, say that if a particular devotee is not able to meet up to the standards, it's okay, he will meet up those standards by the mercy of the spiritual master. So sometimes, you know, he should be allowed for initiation, he should be... So sometimes the topic comes up that that person should be allowed to get initiation. So how do we strike that balance between uh, meeting these standards at the same time, uh, of course, uh, mercy is required? How do we strike the balance between both of these? Lord Chaitanya was telling Lord Nityananda. You see, Lord Chaitanya was telling Lord Nityananda in Jagannath Puri, in Jagannath Puri that he had come down to this material world. That we had come down to this material world. And we had promised he would deliver four kinds of people. And we had promised that we would deliver four kinds of people. Who are normally not delivered. Who are not who are normally not delivered. And uh, so he said the Murkos. He said the Murkas. The Nichos. The Nichas. The Patits. The Patits. And the Dukitas. And the Dukitas. So the foolish who think that the body. The foolish who thinks that they are the body. The people born in a low birth. People are born in low birth. Uh, Kaliuga, everyone is considered like a sudra. In Kaliuga, everyone is considered like a shudra. Or even lower. Or even lower. And then Patit, fallen. Then Patit, fallen. Like uh, one English gentleman, he requested a uh, sannyasi, so I want to be a Brahmin. So one English gentleman, he requested a sannyasi that I want to be a Brahmin. Yeah, you make you a Brahman. Yes, we can make you a Brahman. What do I have to do? What I have to do? I give up eating meat, fish, egg. I give up eating meat, fish, egg. Taking intoxication. Taking intoxication. Then uh, gambling. Then gambling. And what's the sex? And give up illicit sex. These four things, you'll be a Brahman. And just do these four things, you'll be a Brahmana. It's impossible, he said. It's impossible, he said. <laughs> And my life. That's my life. <laughs> so, people in the West were by nature patit. So, people in the West by nature they are patit. The, the Indians wanted to follow the Westerners. And the Indians they want to follow the Westerners. So they are becoming also patit. So they are becoming also patit. Naturally, they feel sad. As a result, naturally, they feel sad. And Vigalaya, Asasutal, described this material world, her place of salary. So, Dukkalayam Ashashvatam, Krishna describes this material world as a place of suffering. But it's temporary. But it is temporary. Something is temporary. Enjoyment is temporary. What's that? Suffering is temporary, mm -hmm. enjoyment is temporary. Uh, suffering is temporary, enjoyment is temporary. Everything is temporary. Everything is temporary. So that's why people in the world are very sad. That's why people in this world are very sad. They're trying to be happy, but 
sadness. But they are trying to be happy, but it produces sadness. There's four kinds of people. Lord Chaitanya said he came down to the earth. So these four kinds of people, Lord Chaitanya said, he came down to deliver them. You find even like uh, Narananda Sakura, he was a crown prince, he was a chatriya, who abdicated his throne. So even we find that um, Narutam Das Thakur, he was a Kshatriya, he was the crown priest, the prince, he abdicated his throne. And he took up pure devotional service. And he took up pure devotional service. He said, I'm very fallen, I'm very petite. He said, I'm very fallen, I'm very petite. Please have your mercy on me. Please have your mercy on me. So the, actually he's not fallen. Actually he's not fallen. It was done like that to get the mercy of Lord Chaitanya. But he presented himself like that to get the mercy of Lord Chaitanya. So we humbly present ourselves as fallen, not really fallen, but anyway. So we humbly present ourselves fallen, anyway. And what? So we find that Lord Chaitanya devotees. They present themselves in a very humble way. We find that Lord Chaitanya's devotees, they present themselves in a very humble way. So if you have someone who's fallen, he can pray to Nithai Gaur for mercy. So if you have someone who's fallen, he can pray to Nithai Gaur for their mercy. Hare Krishna. Pro that they have mercy. You know, Give up these four so the proof that they have this mercy is to give up these four things. Hare Krishna Guru Maharaj. Okay, here is the question. Hare No, it's, it is the questions is supposed to be posted here. Okay. That's just wishing you Hare Krishna, we love you, and other questions. Hare Krishna Guru Maharaj Dandavat Pranams. Guru Maharaj, should we encourage devotees to follow festivals or be Krishna conscious? Fa Krishna conscious every day is festival. Please kindly tell us, tell, help us. Why not? Why not? Tell them to observe ourselves. Tell them to observe festivals. Tell them to practice Krishna Conscious every day. Tell them to practice Krishna Conscious every day. Do both. Do both. Hari Bol. Hari Bol. Hare Krishna Guru Maharaj. Uh, Guru Maharaj, we've been following Krishna Conscious for so many years. We. For so many years. No, so general devotees, I'm telling. Oh, so, uh, so now when we see in the process, we have like ups and downs. We see that in the process, we have ups and downs. So when we take the case of Bharat Maharaj, he was so sincere, he was so renunciated, and he did his Krishna conscious so carefully. But in the, in the case of Bharat Maharaj, we see that he was so sincere, he was so renounced. He did everything so meticulously, carefully. Yeah. So there we hear that in the Bhava stage, he he was attracted and he had to take another birth because of the uh, offense that he did in a previous year, which he didn't even know about it. So then we see that in the Bhagavad Gita says that in the Bhava stage, he fell from this fell fell down because of the previous offense which he has committed, which even he didn't know. How to come out of it and what what is the remedy we, when we don't even know what offenses that we have committed? So how to come out of it? What is the remedy when we don't know what offenses that we have created, committed some? See, even Bharat Maharaj, who fell down to us as a deer, so even Bharat Maharaj, who fell down, who took took birth as a deer. But Krishna was 
much love on him and he could remember his previous lives. But Krishna was merciful on him and he could remember his previous lives. The next birth, he took birth as Brahmana. The next birth, he took birth as a Brahmana. Jarabharat. Jarabharat. And uh, he was taken by some daylights to the altar to run the Kali as a Bali Dhan. So he was taken by some decards to be offered to Mother Kali as Balidhan. But Mother Kali was so angry because he was a pure devotee. Bhatra Kali, she was so angry because he was a pure devotee. She killed all the decards. That she killed all the decards. And saved the Jarabharat. And saved Jarabharat. So we should just try to rush our service. And uh, even if we have some unknown offense. So we should do our devotional service even we have done some unknown offense. Krishna will protect us if we do devotional service. Krishna will protect us if we do devotional service. Now, this planet is known as Bharat Varsha. This planet is known as Bharat Varsha. And so India calls the country Bharat. And still India call its country as Bharat. So, and then after the King Bharat. He's being named after the King Bharat. Hare Krishna. Guru Maharaj question from Nandipur Prabhu. Hare Krishna Guru Maharaj. We have uh, so many varieties of devotional service. Like, we have so many varieties of devotional service. Like chanting, reading Srila Prabhupada's books, deity worship, and visiting Holy Dham. Like chanting, reading Srila Prabhupada's books, worshipping the deities and visiting the holy dams. Sometimes we see that when we are more attracted to one method, the other method is getting less importance and we are not able to Sometimes do it. Sometimes we see that when we get attracted to one method, the importance of the other method comes down. So whether a chanting of the holy name, more of chanting or more of deity worship or more of Prabhupada's books reading, which one is more important? So which one is more important? Whether chanting or reading Shri Prabhupada's books, or visiting the Holy Dams, or the, the deities. In the yoga, there is a particular yagya which is most important. In every yuga, there is a particular yagya which is the most important. In the yoga, the yagya Sravanam, Kirtanam is most important. So, in Kali Yuga, the yagna of Shravanam and Kirtanam is the most important. Uh, reading books is one form of Shravanam. So reading the books is one form of Shravanam. So there are nine practices of devotional service. But there is nine practices of devotional service. And uh, if I practice any one that is also possible to be delivered. If you practice any of this one, then that's all, it is also possible to be delivered. But in the Kalyuga, the Sasa recommended that we chant and hear. But in the Kalyuga, it is especially recommended that we should chant and hear. But the chant here, remember. But then we should chant here, remember. The say obeisances of our prayers. Being obeisances of our prayers. And uh, do the archana. And do the archana. And do padasevanam, do some service. Do padasevanam, do some service. And then do a, we consider ourselves as servant of the Lord. Considering oneself as the servant of the Lord. Considering the Lord as one's friend. Considering the Lord as one's friend. And offering everything to the Lord. Atmanivedanam. And then offering everything to the Lord. Atmanivedanam. <clears throat> These are the nine practices of. These are the nine practices of devotional service. Uh, yes, Guru Maharaj. Question from Chaitanya Nitai world. Wow. Yeah. There's a world like that. Wonderful. Yeah. Hare Krishna, dear Guru Maharaj. Please accept my respectful obeisances. All glories to Srila Prabhupada. All glories to you, Srila Guru Maharaj. How can we understand that our chanting is pure? <clears throat> 
That's the whole question. That's the whole, yes. How can we understand that our chanting is pure? So, uh, we always consider our chanting is not pure. We always consider that our chanting is not pure. And uh, we try to improve it, make it more pure. So we try to improve it, making it more pure. And this way we get the mercy of Krishna. In this way we'll get the mercy of Krishna. We don't like to be too proud. Oh, my chanting is pure. So we don't like to be too proud. Oh, my chanting is so pure. We rather like to present ourselves as very fallen. We need the mercy of Nitya Rather, we should present ourselves that we are very fallen and we need the mercy of Nitya Gaur. And this way, uh, this way we can get plenty of mercy. So, in this case, we can get mercy. Question. question. Uh, there's a question from on site viewer. Hare Krishna Guru Maharaj. So uh, we know that Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came to give this love of Godhead mainly uh, when we chant holy names and when we spread uh, holy names. So, Guru Maharaj, Hare Krishna. So, Hare 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 Hare. 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 so we know that Lord Chaitanya came to give the love of Godhead by chanting the holy names. Mainly when we take when we chant and mainly spread. Mainly when we chant the holy names and, and, spread. and spread it. Uh, so we see uh, around us many leaders, those who are engaged in missionary activities. We see around us leaders, those who are engaged in missionary activities. And they are spreading holy, and they are uh, assisting in spreading holy name. And they are assisting in spreading the holy name. But uh, when it comes to uh, taking uh, deeply shelter of holy name, when it comes to taking deeply the shelter of holy name, we don't. Uh, we don't get much inspiration from them because of being so much engaged. Uh, so it's we don't get much inspiration from those leaders of, because of being so much engaged in the institutional. So uh, because they may be serving so extensively, but when it comes to personal sadhana, it may not be so inspiring for us. Because they are engaged so much in extensively, so much in, engaged extensively in visionary activities. When it comes to their own personal sadhana, they are not so inspired. For us. So how do we understand? Just because they are engaged in mission, will Chaitanya Mahaprabhu give them love of Godhead? Or they need to make intense endeavor to uh, perform, to attain Shuddha Nam? So how should we understand this? Just because they are engaged in intense missionary activities, Lord Chaitanya will give them love of Godhead? Or they have to work hard through the sadhana process for them to get the mercy of Godhead? To attain Shuddha Nam. Sh to attain Shuddha Nam. <laughs> We don't worry about others. We don't worry about others. Everybody, uh, Krishna will judge. Krishna will judge. And uh, we try to engage ourselves completely in devotional service. And we try to engage ourselves completely in devotional service. It's like I was attending two meetings. Just like I was attending two meetings. Gita, I mean, uh, GBC meeting. One was GBC meeting. MOVP meeting. And then the MOVP meeting. Meeting of the Vedic Planetarium. Museum of the Vedic Planetarium. And uh, during the time I was chanting on the pedal. So during that time I was chanting on the pedal. And uh, I would be hearing and chanting. So I was hearing and chanting. And uh, at the end of four hours, I chanted 1,924 rounds. At the end, <laughs> yeah, yeah. At the end of the at the end of four hours, I chanted 1,924 mantras. I also. I have on my right hand is frozen. Paralyzed So my right hand, it is not paralyzed, but it is paralyzed. I don't have any feeling. I don't have any feeling. I use my left hand to chant. So I use my left hand to chant. I'll chant more. 
only 177 it is there in the clicker but gurmach will chant more i just i try to use every moment for chanting so like this i try to use every moment for chanting and i go walking around i used to chant while walking i used to chant while walking now i can't walk now i can't walk I, 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 Cycle wheelchair, I, uh, chant while cycling. So now I chant while cycling. Or I, 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 I exercise, I chant. Anyway, while doing exercises, I chant. And uh, so, so I always chant. Some or another, I always want to chant. And I just like. I say that one cannot chant all the time. What's that? In this way? In this way? I can say that one can chant all the time. I can see that one can chant all times. Anyone else? Oh, who's, who's that? Uh, uh, okay, okay, okay. Hare Krishna, Guru Maharaj. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. How I am, uh, how can I build a good character? because my mind is very dirty. Please help me, Guru Maharaj. I am Potito. You see, Lord Chaitanya says, Chaito Dharma Marjanam. You see, Lord Chaitanya said, Chaito Dharpana Marjanam. By chanting Hare Krishna, we clean our consciousness. By chanting Hare Krishna, we clean our consciousness. And that way is to chant in the consciousness. So in that way, you should chant and clean your consciousness. Who has consciousness? Hare Krishna, Guru Maharaj. Hare Krishna, Guru Maharaj. Hare Krishna. Uh, Guru Maharaj, uh, while chanting, my mind is going here and there. While chanting, my mind is going here and there. I am trying to bring back on the holy names to remember the holy names and remember the deities how to control and how to chant more chant attentively as i tell the president uh, i my mind would go all the work i had to do so as the temple president, my mind would go over all the works that I had to do. They have to meet the DM, I have to do this, I have to do that. I have to meet the DM, I have to do this, I have to do that. What I do is carry a small book. What I, do, what I used to do is I used to carry a small book. Whenever a thought came up, I used to write it down and put it back. And concentrate. And then concentrate. But otherwise, the giving of my mind was... And all those things. Otherwise, my mind would again and again would think about these things. Instead, I wrote down the book. Yes. I channeled. Instead, I wrote down on the book and then continued chanting. I don't know. So, uh, some so away, you can think of, you can write down or something. And Somehow, you can, some practical way you can think of to write it down or something. And uh, I would chant before Prabhupada's Murti. I would chant before Shri Prabhupada's Murti. Meditating on, lotus feet. meditating on his lotus feet. Okay. Hare, Hare Krishna. Krishna. Hare Krishna. <laughs> Hare Krishna Guru Maharaj Dandavat Pranams. How can I increase my taste in reading Shri Prabhupada's books? Before you read, chant your pranam. Before you read, chant your pranam. To Guru and Prabhupada. To Guru and Shri Prabhupada. And that way, read the book with a full attention. That way, read the book with full attention. And then gradually, by reading every day, your taste will increase. And then gradually, by reading every day, your taste will increase. <laughs> Any other questions outside? Amarindra Guru? Last, last question. Is it last question? 
<laughs> In the third canto, uh, when Brahma ji becomes very pleased with Kardama's uh, his service. Brahmaji becomes very pleased with the service. So, Srila writes in the purport that uh, the disciple should uh, get the instructions from the spiritual master and execute it word by word. Srila writes in the purport that the disciple should get the instruction from the spiritual master and execute it word by word. So, I understand in terms of sadhana, chanting, reading, following regular principles, that needs to be, that must be done. We understand in terms of sadhana, reading, following regulatory principles that must be done. So, how much do devotees have their uh, own initiative for uh, uh, in Krishna consciousness? How much should devotees should have their own initiative in, in their Krishna consciousness? Because um, uh, we may or we may not always have the association of spiritual master. We may or we may not have always the association of the spiritual master. How many people here have the Jayapataka Swami app? He, how can you have it? How many would read it regularly? I put up daily things on the Jayapataka Swami app. I put up daily things on the Jayapataka Swami app. And uh, that way. You know, have your associate with me as close as your mobile phone. So then that way you can associate with me as close as you associate with your mobile phones. <laughs> I see people talking on their mobile phone. <laughs> I see people talking on their mobile phones often. Uh, they can see the app. Rather than that, they can see the app. I don't know. Uh, Also, someone told me that I should ask Prabhupada a question. <laughs> someone told me that I should ask Shri Prabhupada a question. I should glorify Prabhupada. I should glorify Shri Prabhupada. Humble myself. And humble myself. And ask a question. And then ask a question. And blessings. And blessings. So I was doing that every day. And I was doing that every day. And then it became like a ritual. And then that became like a ritual. Prabhupada, you're all merciful. Shla Prabhupada, you're all merciful. Prabhupada, I'm very fallen. Shla Prabhupada, I'm very fallen. I want to serve you. I want to serve you. Eternally. Eternally. Life after life. Life after life. So Prabhupada, he said one day, then why do you want to make me come back? Then Shla Prabhupada, he said one day, why you want to make me to come back? <laughs> I, was saying the right thing. I thought that I was saying the right thing. Then uh, I said, I want to serve you even life after life. And then I told him, I want to serve you even life after life. If, you, if I don't make it back to Godhead, I want to serve here. Then if I don't make back to Godhead, then I want to serve you here. Very bold. Done? I don't know if I Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Okay. Okay. I'm offering all the Hare Krishnas to you now. Okay. My family is not allowing me to leave onion and garlic. What should I do? Huh? My family is not allowing me to leave onion and garlic. What should I do? Raise them. <laughs> What's that? Give up. <laughs> <laughs> hey Google, there's a whole article on onions and garlic. In Google, there's a whole article on onion and garlics. How detrimental it is. How detrimental it is. And why, uh, Taking it how I get all kinds of bad qualities. By taking it how one can get all kinds of bad qualities. That's Google. 
That's Google. But also in the Quranas, the, uh, the uh, other Islamic cave from the dead carcass of a cow. So also in the Purana, it's mentioned that the onion and garlic came from the dead bodies of the cow. And uh, by taking the onion and garlic, one gets the uh, karma of killing cow. By taking onion and garlic, one gets the karma of killing a cow. So I don't know what your parents will be more influenced by. I don't know which your parents will be more influenced by. The Puranas or Google. The Puranas or Google. Science or theology. Science or theology. But either way, and then garlic is like right that. But either way, onion and garlic is very bad. Thank you very much for asking nice questions. Thank you very much for asking very nice questions. Hare Krishna. Thank you for very, very, very nice answers, Guru Maharaj. Okay, Guru Maharaj.